Well, welcome everybody to St. Matthew's. Welcome to this uh, service for uh, Remembrance Sunday in its strange format. So let's come together and just have a moment with God before we start. So Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this time that we're able to share together. We thank you for this space. We thank you for each other. And as we come together to remember those who have fought for this country and fallen in war, we just ask for your Holy Spirit and your blessing upon us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning. Uh, welcome to the Remembrance Service for Skegness. Um, due to the COVID situation that we're in, we have um, had to do this recorded. Um, we wish that you all join in with us in remembering um, those that have fallen and also join in with the two-minute silence. And after the two-minute silence, we're going to do a, a clap maybe in your garden or outside your workplace, um, like we did for the NHS and the care workers um, in uh, helping us uh, join in with respect. Thank you. Read in from Micah 4, 1 to 5. In the days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest of the mountains and shall be raised up above the hills. People shall stream to it and many nations shall come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways and that we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth instruction and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall, just, he shall judge between many peoples and shall arbitrate between strong nations far away. They shall beat their swords into the plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. But they shall all sit under their own vines, and under their own fig trees, and no one shall make them afraid. For the mouth of the Lord of the hosts has spoken. For all of the peoples walk, each in the name of its God. But we will walk in the name of the Lord our God for ever and ever. May the words of my lips and the thoughts and responses of all our hearts be now and always acceptable in your sight, O Lord our God and our Redeemer. Amen. Well, we gather to, together today in a rather unusual way, because we're not gathered as we would normally be outside at the Cenotaph or here in church, but we're, we're gathered to, to make a film. But the purpose is still the same. We are called to remember those who fell in the world wars, those who are in the military now. We're called to remember the things that we do. The message from the mayor, from Micah, was that we wish to turn swords into plowshares. And we look at the military today, we look at the calling that's been made upon them. And as we remember those that, that fell in the world wars and those that have served in our armed forces, we need to think today and pray for those today that are on the front lines of this COVID pandemic. All those that are working in logistics and all those that are working to take the swabs that are needed so we know whether people are ill or not. So we need to hold these people in prayer and we also need to pray for their families because they're bound to be worried when they're out in the car parks and all the different places that they're now serving, as well as abroad as well as all the other things that the military do. So this is a time to remember the fallen and also re to remember the work of those that are in our armed forces today. Amen. This is a poem by John McRae, May 1915. A medical officer in the Canadian Army. In Flanders fields the poppies blow, between the crosses, row on row, that mark our place, and in the sky, the lark still bravely sing, fly scarcely a herd amid the guns below. We are the dead, short days ago. We'd lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow. Loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields, take up our quarrel with the foe. To you, from failing the hands, we throw. The torch be yours to old in eye. If you break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields. We're now going to listen to the hymn, I Bow to Thee, My Country.
Let us pray for all who suffer as, as a result of conflict and ask that God may give us peace for the service men and women who have died in the violence of war, each one remembered by and known to God. For those who love them in death as in life, offering the distress of our grief and the sadness of our loss. For all members of the armed forces who are in danger this day, remembering family, friends, and all who pray for their safe return. For civilian women, children and men whose lives are disfigured by war or terror. Calling to mind in penitence the anger and hatred of humanity. For peacemakers and peacekeepers who seek to keep this world secure and free. And for all who bear the burden and privilege of leadership, political, military and religious. Asking for gifts of wisdom and resolve in the search for reconciliation and peace. May God give them peace. And the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And we'll now listen to the National Anthem. <laughs> So, Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for this time that we've shared together. And now we ask for your blessing upon us. So the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be with you and those whom you love, this day and always. Amen. They shall not grow old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will, we will remember them.
go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow we gave our today. With you and me together we'll go 